You good? What? Oh, no, I was just thinking how easy it would be to cut the tip of my nose off. <laughs> oh my god, why? I don't know, intrusive thought. Oh, okay. Does that happen a lot? Yeah, with pretty much everything and anything. Really? Everything? Okay, what about that sink? Put your hand in the garburetor and flip the switch. Okay, uh, what about the water bottle? Oh, that's easy. While you're drinking it, I just punch it into your mouth. Okay, uh, what about the countertop? Oh, come on. You walk, you trip, you bust all your teeth out on the corner of the counter. The cup. <sighs> Drop it on my toe, obviously. Oh my god. Okay, here's a hard one. A pillow. Oh, please. Two words. Suffocation device. Wow. Okay. So you have these thoughts like every day? Yeah. And you want to do them? No, I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. But you think about wanting to do them and it happening. Exactly. Are you okay? No. No. <sighs> hey mom, can I ask you a question? <sighs> yeah, yeah. You know what? I was just about to hold a family meeting in here too, so you might as well. Great. So, hypothetically, if someone was to put a fork in the microwave, would it explode? Uh, yeah, I don't know, probably. Hypothetically, how long would it take to explode? I don't know, like a couple minutes maybe? I'm not a scientist. Uh, did you put a fork in the microwave? Hypothetically. Oh my god, how long has it been in there? How long have we been talking? Oh my god. Oh shit. April Fools. It, it, it's May 5th. <laughs> yeah, tells you'd be expecting it on April 1st. So. It... Who put a fork in the microwave? Hypothetically, it did explode. I don't think you know what hypothetically means. Hey, you want to go to the mall? Uh, yeah, I got an appointment in a few hours, but I'd love to. Cool. Ooh, and after we can sneak in a lunch at that new restaurant that just opened. Ooh, yes. Are you going to have enough time, though? Oh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey, you want to go to the mall? Can't. I have an appointment. Oh, bummer. Is it soon? Five o'clock. It's 11 a.m. Exactly. You have six hours before your appointment. Yeah, I don't get what you're not understanding. You have a lot of time to do stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna wait. So you're just gonna sit there for the next six hours and do nothing? Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I'm single. I really thought Doug was the one. Here's some of the best advice I ever got, okay? Men are like refrigerators, okay? It's not about what they look like on the outside. It's about what they got to offer on the inside. Whoa. Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. Doug had a nice fridge. Are you saying I should go back with Doug? No, no, no. Okay, you're missing the point. Okay, Doug is the fridge in this scenario. All right, I know he wasn't the hottest model, but he wasn't that bad. No, see, Doug is a nice, expensive KitchenAid fridge with no fingerprints on the outside, okay? But when you open it, all you see is expired milk, bacon soda, a six-pack of PBRs, and half a jar of pickles in it. You get what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure Doug had a Whirlpool fridge. Oh, my God. What I'm saying is he's pretty on the outside, but he's empty and rotten on the inside, okay? I see. I see. Okay. But what about when you have company? It's always good to have a nice fridge on display. Yeah, until they open it and realize there's zero substance inside it. Oh, see, simple. Close it, forget about it, order food. No, you can't keep ordering food, Amanda. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. But answer me this. If a straight man is a fridge, what is a lesbian? We're like dryers. There's either nothing inside or all our clothes hot and ready to move in with you. It's true. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wish I was a lesbian, but I just can't wrap my head around the vagine. But I guess I did once when I came out my mum. But I think that was just a one and done situation. Okay. Oh, this talk has got me hungry. You got any snacks? Yeah, I got a fridge full of them. And you know why? Because I'm not Doug. Ah, I see what you did. Yeah, see? Hey, Mom. Hey, sweetie. Okay, don't freak out, but I got some tattoos. What? No, she... <gasps> see, they're small. They're small. They're just, they're just little, right? They're cute, right? Oh, no, honey. Like the Kardashians say, you never put a bumper sticker on a Bentley. I don't know if you've noticed this, Mom, but I am not a Bentley, okay? I am a mentally ill, used-up Toyota Corolla. 
who abuses the speed limit and forgets to change her oil from time to time and has been in one too many accidents and has to put bumper stickers on it to distract from all the dents on the outside. Do you need to see a doctor? No. I'm just gonna go get another tattoo. Let me know when the exit's coming up. Uh, in a kilometer, get in the right lane. Perfect. Let me know when the exit's coming up. Ah, uh, we passed it two exits ago. What? Let me know when the exit's coming up. In 3.5 kilometers. Oh, okay, cool. 3.4. Okay. 3.3. I got it. 3.2. You don't have to- 3.1. Shut up! You might want to get in the right lane. Oh, is it coming up? Yeah, in about 30k. When's the next exit? Right here. Oh! Is the next exit coming up? I'll keep going, a couple exits. Oh, is that what the map says? No, but it's fine. I got it. Okay, that's great. But what does the map say? It doesn't matter. We don't need it. I know where we're going. Yes, we do. No, we don't. I'm pulling over. Hey, uh, could you pass me a banana? Hey, my banana. Why do you have to do that? My banana. You know, it doesn't have to be like this. Be like what? We're all grown up now. We can just talk to each other and be mature about it. We're, we're be grown ups about it. You know, we could we could stop with all the childish antics and just get along and not just waste time doing stuff that we did when we were kids. We could we could actually have a relationship now. You could you could hand me that banana with without saying anything in retaliation. Just here is the banana. You know. Okay. Okay. Here is your banana. Thank you. See, isn't this nice? See, isn't this nice? Okay. I didn't wash my hands after I peed, by the way. Oh, God. <laughs> you look like you belong in a one-hit wonder Y2K boy band, by the way. At least I don't look like you. And he said, yeah. Douche nozzle. I'm done dinner. Okay. Uh, you didn't finish your water. It's gross. What do you mean it's gross? It's water. It tastes like nothing. Exactly. What's the point? To live. Man. Okay, well, lucky for you, I got you an air up water bottle, and all you have to do is get a scented flavor pod, put it on like so, and then pull it up to activate it, and then when you sip it, it'll taste like the flavor pod. No, they. Oh, is that peach? Uh huh, and I have a bunch of different flavors too, so you. Did you like it? Yeah. Great. More water. Uh, more water. In my air up bottle. More water in your air up bottle. No! No, you know what? One bad a little time. <sighs> okay, I got my headphones, my stun gun, my bear mace. Does this work on people too? Probably. And do I need this? Little overkill. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Alright, run time. I got my headphones in, music on. Seeing you tonight. It's okay, it's gonna be sunset soon, so this has gotta be a short run. Oh, I gotta take one headphone out too to hear any potential approaching threats. Sick, it's gonna be dark soon, nobody's gonna be out here, I'm gonna go for a scoff on this run. Hell yeah, let's turn this music up. Yes, that is that truck slowing down? Why is it slowing down? Oh my god, I'm gonna be on Dateline, shit. Is that truck slowing down? Weird. Oh, they probably need my directions. Hey man. Oh god, another run is approaching, I gotta not breathe so loud. Hold it in. Hey. Oh yeah. Oh god, a man is approaching. Okay, what was that self-defense class I took three years ago? Oh, look, a woman runner. Okay, I gotta seem not creepy, not intimidating. Here we go. Okay, not creepy. Hey. Oh god, that was so creepy. Oh god, that was so creepy. I'm going on star power mode. Okay, all set up. What is that? Oh, I got the new HP Smart Tank 5101 from Staples Canada. Isn't it nice? Oh, good. I needed to print something off for work. Yeah, you could just do it from your phone. Perfect. Mom, I forgot to make my theme coloring page for class. Oh, uh, you can just use my phone to print something off, okay? Moody! Janet, I need you to sign the permission form. Oh, okay, uh, where is it? On your email. You need to print it and sign it. Okay, Riley, are you done with my phone? Yep. Thank you. Oh, here it is. Okay, print. And Riley, I think a coloring sheet is done. What the hell is the theme of your coloring sheet? A night paralysis theme in? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, Misha, yours is printing. Why does it say top secret on it? That's mine! What's this great quality? You saw nothing. Good. It's a great printer. I know. Oh, honey, I like the new hair. It's very funky, very fresh. Thanks. Yeah, very dope. Don't say that. Okay.
Knock, knock, kiddo. Mom told me you got a new hairdo, and wow, that's different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you doing okay mentally? Yes. Well, then I think it's great. Oh, your hair's so cool. What are you gonna do, copy it? No. Oh, okay, thanks. Wow! Excuse me, I didn't mean to interrupt your mission, Agent Romanoff, but you're looking fine as chilled wine in the summertime. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Hair's cool. Wait, really? Do you mean that? Yeah. Thank you! Okay, I have not been sure because everybody's just been giving me mixed signals and this- and now I know. Now I know. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your outfit looks dumb though. Okay. Riley! What's this about? I need you to help me fold this lawn- What did you say? I said, what are you on about? Why do you sound like that? What's wrong with what I sound like, eh? You come in here and disrespect my family, my blood, my heritage. Heritage, your entire family is from Boston, Massachusetts. You're lying. Why would I lie about that? You have the audacity to lie about Santa Claus being real. Who's to say you didn't lie about me not being adopted from across the pond? You think I would have picked you? I think this conversation is over. What has gotten into you? Riley, the next episode of Peaky Blinders is coming on, let's go. Oh, figures, it's you. What did I do? You have Riley watching R-rated TV shows? It's educational. How is it educational? Talk me way out of folding the laundry now, didn't I? What? You yeah, so next time you think about what you say to the Peaky <laughs> Blinders. No. Too much? Too much. Ryan Gosling or Ryan Reynolds? No, definitely Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Christina Lee Hallowell Collins. Oh, that's full name. You're f***ed. What did you do? I, I don't know. Christina. Shit. <laughs> eavesdrop? Eavesdrop. Did you skip class yesterday? Uh. Oh, damn. That's right. She did. Oh, shit. Got two options here. She can deny, 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 or plead guilty and cry. Yeah. Yeah. As long as she doesn't. Are you dumb? I would never do that. Oh, shit. Oh, no. It's like rule number one in mom's courthouse. If you attack, you get whacked. What a dumb ass. Wait, 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 I don't hear the wax. Jessica Leanna Hallowell Collins, get down here. Is she calling a witness? She's calling a witness. Oh no, man, I don't even time for this dunce last mom for not snitching on her. Now you got this, man, get it together. <laughs> I can't go back there, man. I won't be able to DM Jason on MSN. Jessica! <gasps> you can have my Tamagotchi. Really? Sick. Okay, what's something that's gross that tastes delicious? <sighs> Say it on one, two, three. Hot dogs. Cottage cheese. Sam's mom. What? Oh, cottage cheese. See, it tastes good, but I'm a texture person, so I just can't. Can we back up for a sec? Did you just say my mom? True, but if you put it on toast with tomatoes and avo like Sam's mom does, don't even notice. That's a game changer. Good one, Sam. Get what? And hot dogs are delicious. I don't give a flying fudge knuckle what anybody says. Right? And everybody's always like, do you know what those are made out of? And I'm like, I don't care. Put it in my mouth hole. Enough about the hot dogs. Can we talk about what just happened yeah. here? I don't care if it was made out of Sam's mom's luscious hair. I would still eat it. Straight up. Ugh, I got such a craving now. Same. Deborah, man. <laughs> did, did you get with my mom? Whoa, bro. You sound insane right now, dude. Wild. But you said Sam's mom. I didn't say that. That'd be crazy. <laughs> did you? For real? Hey, 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 what was that? Hmm? Are you f***ing with me right now? Dude, yes, calm down. Your mom, on the other hand. What are you looking at? You think if I threw this cup hard enough, I could hit that guy in the head? No, why would you do that? I'm not going to, I was just asking. That's weird. Why are you staring at your fork? I feel like this pickle's probably the same texture as my eye. I could just take this fork and... You know, pick it out. Like a grape. Oh my god! Are you okay? What? Oh, I just imagined slipping on this towel and caving my head in with the shower handle. Why? There. What are you doing? Now I won't. I think there's an extremely high chance that would never happen. But there's always a chance. Hey, I'm gonna go grab some coffee, maybe go to the mall. Okay. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, I heard what you said. What? Uh, are, are you busy or something? Yeah, kinda. I have a project I'm working on right now. Oh, well you can do that later. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but I'm broke as shit right now, so. No big deal, I'll pay for you, so. Really? Yeah, whatever. 
Thank you, man. That's really cool of you. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll just finish this up and then we'll go and... You don't have any friends. <laughs> Shut the f*** up. Alright, go by yourself then. I don't care. No, it's fine. I'm sorry. Let's go. Only if you buy me a new outfit. Fine. Okay, I need to squash this debate I'm having with somebody. What do you put on first when you get dressed? A shirt or shorts? Ooh, shirt, for sure. Mm, definitely shorts. Yeah, see, I'm either or, but it's usually a shirt. Yeah, fair. Socks. What? Socks, I put my socks on first. What? That's insane. You're saying when you get out of the shower, the first thing you put on is socks? Yeah. That's ridiculous. If anything, it's the least ridiculous. What are you talking about? You gotta keep the outer extremities warm. On a cold day, socks, then gloves, then hat. What? The only way that order of getting dressed makes sense is if you're a f***ing starfish. Starfishes don't wear clothes. Oh yeah, what about Patrick from Spongebob? Oh yeah, he's the smart one, right? No, Patrick's the dumb one. Oh right, the dumb one. And what clothes does he put on first? Shorts. Exactly. Hey, there's some pizza downstairs. What? What is it? Is it the pants? Is it the, I know it's bulging a little bit here, but it's it, it's it. Do you like the pattern? I just got them. You don't, is it the shirt? Is it, I tied it in the back. I thought that was okay. Is it, it's too Y2K, isn't it? Isn't it, isn't it? Isn't it? And these, these jeans aren't doing my ass any favors. I know, I know. My ass isn't that flat, is it? No, you think it is? I don't know, man. I don't know. I should, should I change? Should I change? This is dumb. This is a dumb outfit. I, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb. I should, should I change? Should I change? Okay, yeah, I'll change. Oh no, are they gonna take the drugs to hide it from the cops? I don't know. What are drugs? They turn your brain into mush. But they make trees look really cool. Really? No, stop. Oh my god, are they gonna put the drugs up their ass? I don't know. What's an ass? It's a donkey, Riley. They're gonna put drugs in a donkey? No, it's another word for your butt. What is? Ass. Can you not? So a donkey is a butt? No, ass means donkey and butt, and butt means ass. But Exactly. Oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. I'm gone. Can't even enjoy a movie. <laughs> What's up, her donkey? Close enough. Jess! What? Oh, yeah, can you go make me a sandwich? Thanks. Are you- No! Have you lost your mind? You heard me. You... Where do you get off? What's that in your hand? Oh, what, this? This is the ROG Ally. You can play all games on all platforms, including games like FIFA, NBA, GTA, Overwatch, Street Fighter, and huge bonus, you can play anywhere, anytime. Oh, okay, well, that's dumb, and I'm not making you a snack, loser. Kids, let's get in the car! We've got a long road trip ahead of us! Hmm, seems like the ROG ally will come in handy for this trip. And if I remember correctly, you got your phone taken away this morning, didn't you? <laughs> if only I had a sandwich for the road. Just maybe I'd let you borrow my ROG for the car trip. Seeing as though we don't have enough time to stop by Best Buy to grab another ROG. Hammer turkey. Surprise me. <laughs> hey, you my Uber? Yeah, I'm the Evil Ben. Sick. <sighs> what you added? Uh, isn't it obvious? <laughs> Are you a valet at a Best Western? What? No. A two-star restaurant DJ. A couple years ago, but no. You seriously don't know what I'm doing? Oh, oh, I know. You work at Subway. No. Oh, now I'm craving a tuna melt. I'm going golfing. Oh. Never would have guessed that. What did you think this giant bag of clubs was for? I figured someone owed you money. What does that even mean? Yeah, I carry around a bat for the same reason. Whoa, whoa, okay, relax, lady. I never tell a woman to relax, especially when she's wielding a bat. Okay. Gotta take this out more often. Okay, 
Are you watching Sex in the City? What? Uh, I, yeah, but I only watch it to study how women's brains work to apply it to real life interactions with them, so. So you studying right now? You gonna stick with that narrative? Yeah, but I also watch shows like Band of Brothers and Game of Thrones on Max to study and observe real life situations so I can apply them in my real life situations. Real life situations? Like what, battling dragons? Maybe. Fine, Sex in the City is my guilty pleasure, okay? Sarah Jessica Parker is a national treasure. That's what I thought. Okay, so your friends are Stefan and Steven? Yeah. So my gay friends Steven and Stefan are in town and I figured I'd introduce them to Chad because I need a little free entertainment because watching Chad interact with two gay men is single-handedly the funniest thing I've ever witnessed. Chad, this is Steven. Hold on. Absolute pleasure, darling. And his boyfriend, Stefan? Oh. Hi, nice to meet you. Howdy. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome, super cool. Ah, uh, so you two, you two are together. Yes. Yep. And that's awesome. That's aw congratulations. That's stellar. Thank I'm you. Super nice stoked for you. I'm here for it, and I'm queer for it. Is is that? You know when you're watching a toddler skate for the first time and he just keeps falling over, and you should probably help him, but it's kind of funny just to watch him fall. Jazzy toddler. And I think it's great that you're riding that gay train, guys, because I'm in that caboose, you know, just pumping my fist in full support of your gay train ride. <laughs> All right, then. Not that I want to ride your train or in your train. Um, I don't have a ticket. <laughs> I'm just shoveling coal in the back into the engines of your love, you know? I just want you to know that. So. <laughs> I think Chad might be a little gay. Definitely gay. So this is the house. It's great. Then, oh, this is Kevin. Oh, yes, my name is Kevin. I'm four years old and I'm a super good boy that likes getting pats on the head. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What? What was that? What, what just happened? Oh, Kevin's just, just talking to you. <laughs> what? No, because I'm a super good boy and I really like talking and chasing balls around the house, among other things. <laughs> what? Stop doing that! This is just Kevin's voice. Dogs don't talk! Kevin does. No, he doesn't! He's a dog! You know, oh, whatever, whatever, okay? I'm moving on. What the third problem? I don't know.